um, now let's actually look at uh, um, an, another implicit solver. That is also that that is also second order, but is actually single step. I mean that seems interesting, right? How do you achieve the second order, which you guys spend so much time actually deriving, without involving this u n minus two, right? If you involve u n minus two, it'll be a multi-step scheme. So a single step scheme means you cannot involve u n minus two. You are allowed to only use u n minus one and u n. How do you do that? Any ideas? So actually, there is an alternative to this scheme to achieve second order without involving u n minus two. I think probably Maya and Chloe are the closest to getting the answer to that because you already did something that is a. Uh, a little bit in the spirit of that scheme. Yes? Is it cheating to use un minus a hat? It is, because that's okay. actually another step or stage to use. Yes? Can you do it as du dt at uh, n minus 1 and then expand that? Yes, actually, you, you guys already expanded the uh, uh, yeah. f of yeah the, the yeah. derivative at u n plus one, right? So if you already did that, so so what you did, what you did is you figured out, okay, what if I say, what if I have a scheme that says a of u n plus one plus b of u n plus c of u n minus one divided by delta t is equal to f of u n plus 1, right? So you involved this. If you want a single step scheme, which one do you want to eliminate? This one you want to eliminate, right? But how about making that a d? Well, let me just not making that a d. But how about adding something that is actually f of u n? Right? Uh, pardon? Oh, right. So, so if c is equal to zero, then you derive a and b. You get backward order, right? But now, because this is almost like a mix of explicit and in implicit scheme, which actually is still classified as implicit, because uh, we'll talk about later. You still have to go through the hoops of implementing an implicit scheme if you use that. But from the Taylor series point of view, this is almost like a kind of a, a mixture or hybrid of uh, explicit and implicit schemes. All right, very good. So now how do we choose C, right? Then we have to do basically what uh, you already did. That is, now I have to expand this. How do I do that? This is du dt at n plus 1, right? This is actually the Taylor series expansion for that is du dt at n plus delta t times the derivative of this function because du dt itself is a function. All right. So du dt of du dt, uh, ddt of du dt is just the second order derivative. Right. Okay. So and plus uh, o delta t square terms. Okay. Then when I when I look at all of these, uh, sorry, I also have still have to expand the u n plus one, right? Is equal to u n plus delta t times du dt at n plus uh, the stuff you already know how to do plus o delta t squared. Know that here I um. Oh, delta t cube, delta t cube. Know that on the left hand side, I need to expand to one more order than on the right. Why? Because I'm dividing by delta t exactly. Okay, good. So now uh, I want to equate these two sides. What I have is the constant term has to cancel, which means just the a plus b has to equal to zero, right? On the right hand side, there is no constant term. Now the first order term here I have a, I just have a on the left hand side, right? Has to equal to 1 plus c on the right hand side. All right. And the second order, I have 
half of a uh, of course times delta t has equal has to equal to on the right hand side what do I have I just have this particular term so uh, it's just equal to 1 right uh, 1 times delta t right huh uh, because I have delta t on both sides so it's time to cancel that <laughs> all right okay so these are the three equations I have and uh, I don't think I even need to go to MATLAB to solve that because this directly tells me a has to equal to 2, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the second line just tells me c has to equal to 1. And uh, uh, the first line just tells me b has to equal to minus 2, right? Okay, so the scheme, let's just plug this into the equation, just tells me uh, 2 of un plus 1 minus 2 of un divided by delta t is equal to f of un plus 1 uh, plus c, which is 1, f of un. All right. Done. So, uh, actually, when, when you look for the scheme online, the, the convention is to divide these two out on both sides. So on the left hand side, you get something more like uh, the traditional differentiation. And the right hand side is exactly what looks like a hybrid between forward Euler and backward Euler, right? It's kind of the, just the, the plan average of something like a forward Euler and something like a backward Euler. This is called a uh, uh, the trapezoidal rule. Of doing time integration. Right, because, uh, well, um, because th this is, uh, this is almost like approximating the, the integration, right, uh, approximating basically U, um, uh, which, which which is basically saying that the u is uh well not not u this this is a du dt so basically you are integrating the du dt to get u right and here you are saying i'm approximating this is uh n and m plus one i'm approximating this interval between n and m plus one which you want to integrate to see the difference between u and u m plus one using a trapezoid right so so this is the basically this times delta t is the um, is the average between the height here and the height here, right? Times the delta t is going to be the area of the trapezoid. So this is trapezoidal rule. So we, we have learned uh, two implicit schemes for solving ODs. One is the backward uh, difference formula two BDF two you derived, and also trapezoidal rule, which is uh, a single step method. Question. Um, so, is it possible to implement this uh, for nonlinear ODEs? Is it possible to implement all of this for nonlinear ODEs? That's right. So, uh, that's uh, any questions on these two schemes before I jump into your question? That's exactly what I'm going to be talking about next. Any questions on BDF two and backward Euler? Uh, so, uh, 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 trapezoidal rule. <coughs> 